I'm actually leaving Canada with something that I never thought I'd leave with, which is a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> pretty crazy, but I uh, couldn't be happier about it. But, uh What's going on guys? Brandon Hudden here, HG Muscle Athlete, here on the HG Muscle YouTube channel, about to commence into a leg workout. This is actually the final workout that we'll be recording with HG Muscle with me here in Canada for the time being. I've been here now for a duration of six months. It's actually quite nostalgic how the very first video that we recorded for the HG Muscle channel with me was a leg workout, and we're also finishing again with a leg workout. But right now we're gonna make a pre-workout drink and then get started. Originally, when I came to the gym, I thought I was going to make a pre-workout in their, the, the first shaker that they actually released, but they have new Integrity with Everything HG Muscle, more simpler, sleeker logo. There's not two logos, there's actually just one. It's a very clean design. I really like this shaker. It has this little like hangy thing as well. Definitely an addition to your shaker cupboard if you want it. What we're going to be using today is the HD Black because it's a leg day. I want to go heavy and I want to go for a lot of volume as well. I do want to squat. I don't squat every single leg day, maybe like one in every three, but today it squats. So HD black is necessary. Oh man, it's actually crazy that like, just like five months ago, I was here and we just recorded like the first video for the HD channel. And we was like, oh, what should we train? What's going to be like the best thing to like start with? And it was legs and now five months later, I'm leaving, I'm going home. Let's go, let's do this. All right, we're gonna be starting on, we're gonna be warming up our hip flexors. Actually, to start with, I need to do calves, because calves in the leg region are probably the most slacking. So we're gonna start with three exercises on that, move on to some abduction and abduction. Why did you do calves first and not at the end? I feel like the reason I do calves first is completely bro science, obviously like, I'm not even gonna say it, because it's actually like an embarrassing reason, because it actually probably doesn't make any sense, but obviously, your calves are, with the calves being the first thing you're hitting, all of the, you know, the, the, good, the good nutrients and the blood is gonna go there first. I, I feel like it's something I've always done um, and I feel like it is something that has helped me in the past bring up my weak points. On an arm day, I feel like my triceps are a little bit weaker than my biceps, so I hit my triceps first and then vice versa, hit my biceps afterwards. Um, same with legs, my calves are the worst, so I hit them first. One thing I really like about the 45 degree carb raise, not every gym has it, but if it does, it's great for the stretch. So not only will I do four reps on this, I'll finish off doing like one last set where I put my toes quite close together, pointed in a little bit, and just allow the machines to like drag my calves down just to really stretch them out. This is a highly hazardous machine, comes with a buckle. Moving on to squats, we are gonna be smart about this. Obviously right now there's two different racks. One has a squat bar, one has a deadlift bar. Now, I hope nobody was squatting with that red bar, otherwise, back problems. We're actually gonna put on one of the new t-shirts now that have been designed and will actually probably be live by the time this video goes out. HG Muscle Global-esque tee, really cool design. I like the colors and it's gray. My actual favorite one. This is to display the pros, some of the pros on the team anyway. Um, it's black with this sunset-esque design. Integrity is everything, HG Muscle. We have Anton, Quinton, and Jody. Those are the silhouettes, actual athletes with HD, which are really cool. Got on a t-shirt. Where's my t-shirt, hey? Gotta be a pro. Gotta be a pro. Oh my God. I feel strong already. Aim plan, working our way up the plates. No specific reps. I would like to save my energy for my top sets, which will be on three plates, three and a half plates. I would like to hit around the eight to 10 rep range with that weight. Usually an RPE six, seven with three plates is about six reps. So if I'm really gonna go for it today, I'd like three and a half plates with a solid eight to 10 reps. Mm -hmm. 
anything above two and a half plates or two plates I do like to put knee sleeves on just because not that I have knee problems but I also don't want to start getting knee problems yeah uh, who makes those I do <laughs> you do I do coming soon I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now <laughs> really good. This is like an easy 11, 12 reps. I don't actually know how many reps I got. I just kind of went until like I was like, you know what, that's enough. Because now we're gonna skip three and a half plates and go straight to four plates, just based on how good that felt. I said, unless you're too busy making gains, we're gonna get a spot for this one. Who's in spot you? The one and only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need a spot? Six or eight. It's because I'm here. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think lying down hamstring curl in terms of feel is definitely my favorite or one of my favorite exercises for legs. I just feel like my hamstrings are like not strong, but they feel really good when, I'm, when I get like a, a hamstring pump. I just like the way it feels. All right, now we're done with that. We're gonna move on to the banded hack squat. The reason to do it banded is just because, again, with knee health, hack squat can really like destroy your knees. I mean, it doesn't hurt now. Just because it doesn't hurt now, doesn't mean it's not gonna hurt in five years. So hack squat banded is my preferred way to go. I've just set up the hack squat to commence into this part of the workout, but it's quite nostalgic setting this up and like having a Laura record right now, because this is, this is exercise we recorded in the first leg workout that we recorded when I came here and joined HD Muscle. And now just like five months in the future, so many things have happened. And I feel like while I'm in my fields right now, I'm realizing that it is so important to just like really exist in moments because the past five months have gone so fast and I feel like for anyone watching if you are like you know ever in a moment of just like absolute bliss and you're enjoying your life or you're in a moment where you just like you know I really want to remember this acknowledge that and remember it like take like little mental pictures in your mind just like or record it take a video anything just like appreciate the good times because there aren't going to be that many profound good moments that really do stand out above the rest in life um obviously i'm not saying that just like you know what i'm saying just like really um absorb and cherish good times because being here has been amazing and i've loved every second of it ups and downs corona everything like that other things but all in all it's been really nice i've had a great time in canada and coming here upon the hunch that i did joining hg muscle meeting the people that i have I'm actually leaving Canada with something that I never thought I'd leave with, which is a girlfriend. Pretty crazy, but uh, couldn't be happier about it. But uh, yeah, right now we're gonna stop rambling and get on with the squats. By the way, when I said I'm leaving with something like a, a girlfriend, she's not coming with me. Um, the travel ban, obviously, it's only essential travel right now. People that can leave the country, so that can't happen. But hopefully a month got will go by and the travel ban will be lifted and that problem will be resolved and we can make UK vlogs. Fuck yeah. So many exciting things to look forward to. I feel like the year's only just begun, like for so many people, because everyone's been confined 
and I feel like so many people have like lost their mind. It's gonna be nice to like go back to some sort of normality. Not just like, I feel like in general, just like me going back and like seeing family. Like I'm excited, although I'm very sad to go. I haven't seen my family for like six months, which is the longest I've been without ever seeing, without seeing like my sister, my brother, my nan, my dad, like my mom. Yes, it's sad, but I'm excited to go home.